So while Ukraine faces the threat of a Russian invasion, the United States is building up its firepower in Europe. CNN's Fred Pleiken is covering this part of the story for us in Italy. Fred, this is clearly designed to assure NATO allies that America will stand up to Russia's aggression. Will it work? Hmm. Well, I, I think it certainly is designed for that, Laura. And also, uh, one of the things that the uh, military here on the ground is telling us and at sea is telling us is that they do believe that it is working, that it's not just the U.S. out here, but also the U.S.'s allies as well. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to make the NATO alliance even more cohesive than it was before. And what they've done for the first time now since the Cold War is they've actually put a full U.S. carrier strike group under NATO command for a major exercise. We were allowed on board. Here's what we saw. The U.S. and its allies in a united show of force facing aggression from Russia. The USS Harry S. Truman is in Europe refining cooperation with NATO allies to make sure the alliance can operate more coherently, says Naval Flight Officer Jeanette Lazaro. So we just go out there, integrate to different NATO partners, anybody we are working with, and we work to kind of smooth the communication processes. As Russia continues to amass troops near the border with Ukraine, the U.S. says it will help further strengthen the NATO alliance. This is the first time since the Cold War that a full carrier strike group has been placed under NATO command, with ships from various NATO countries flanking the Truman. The U.S. kept the Harry S. Truman in Europe longer than planned as the standoff with Russia intensifies to reassure America's allies the U.S. is fully committed to collective defense. Russia has pulled together more than 100,000 troops near Ukraine, the U.S. believes, and Moscow could order an attack at any time. While President Biden has said he would not send U.S. forces to Ukraine, the Harry S. Truman can effectively fortify NATO's eastern flank. Despite Russia's massive naval presence in the Black Sea, the carrier's F-18 jets can quickly reach the area close to Ukraine. The Truman's commander says years of integration with allies are now paying off. We're committed to our alliances, our partnerships. Uh, we're able to, to operate plug and play anywhere in the world. And uh, from an adversary point of view, it, it, we're agnostic. If we have the strong partnership, then that's stronger than any individual adversary could ever be. The U.S. says Russia would pay a high price for any further invasion of Ukraine. And the Pentagon has just announced it will deploy additional U.S. troops to Germany, Poland, and to Romania. The current situation demands that we reinforce the deterrent and defensive posture on NATO's eastern flank. President Biden has been clear that the United States will respond to the growing threat to Europe's security and stability. But the U.S. and its allies say they hope diplomacy will prevail as one of America's strongest deterrent forces remains on guard. Certainly some pretty strong capabilities that were on display there while we were at sea. And you know, the Secretary General of NATO, he also commended the United States for sending those additional forces to Europe. He said it showed uh, America's commitment to collective security. And one of the things that you hear time and again when you speak to uh, officials uh, off the record, they will tell you, look, uh, they believe that NATO is stronger than ever. And if there's one thing that Vladimir Putin has achieved unwillingly, obviously, it is to make NATO that much stronger, that much more cohesive, and also that much better integrated uh, with all those forces working together, guys. Fred, terrific reporting as usual. Thank you.